In today's video, we're going to check out the calculated fields form plugin for WordPress. If you are looking for a plugin with conditional logic that handles as many complicated formulas and calculations you can throw at it, this is the plugin to go with. This plugin is one of the top rated Gutenberg enabled plugins, but it also works with the classic editor and page builders like Divi. Some of the most prominent features include accepting payment from the form itself, a visual form builder, pre-made templates, database submission and storage, unlimited numbers of calculated fields, conditional rules and logic, multiple field types, simple or advanced calculation options, multi-page forms, dependent fields, value sorting, and form disabling for search engine crawlers. So with all that in mind, let's get started. Install and activate the plugin and you'll notice a new calculated field form option in your sidebar. The free version comes with five sample forms you can use if you'd like, including simple operations, calculation with dates, ideal weight calculator, pregnancy calculator, and lease calculator. Under that list is the new form button so that you can start fresh. When you press the settings button, it will bring you to the visual editor for that form. But instead, we're going to create a new form. Once here, you can just click on an item to the left and it will appear to the right. At that point, you can drag it to any position you want in the form. Click into the newly appeared field to the right. The tab to the left will change from add a field to field settings. Each field has a slightly different settings page. The next tab labeled form settings is pretty self-explanatory. You will adjust any of the overall options for the form, such as alignment, cookie persistence, templating, CSS, and so on. When you're all done, make sure to press save changes. If you do not, you will lose all of the customization you just did since there is no autosave. Below the save changes button is a secondary set of form settings and options. Many people will have very little use for these settings. You can customize label text under defined text. With validation settings, you can determine whether or not you need to validate the entries. If you decide that you do want to use validation, then you can use this section to edit the placeholder text your users will see. When you press save, grab the shortcode for your specific form and place it on your site so you can see it in all of its glory. We mentioned earlier that CFF is compatible with the block editor, so let's take a brief moment to show you how easy it is to use them together. All I have to do is go to where I want my form. Add a new block and scroll until I see the CFF section. Then I just click insert CFF. Now from the forms dropdown, I find the form I want and save my changes. That's it. It's up and running just as it was before with shortcode, but this time we used the block editor. So there you go. That was a quick overview of the calculated fields form plugin. Of course, there's a lot more to dive into with all of the features that we mentioned. So we highly recommend you go check it out yourself. With that said though, if you enjoyed this video, then be sure to give it a like and subscribe for more content. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next one.